All right, let's go back to Kanoa, who's been in Christchurch this week. And Kanoa, so Bob was talking about that goodwill grace period after a tragedy. Have you seen some of that goodwill over the last couple of days? It's been unbelievable. Um, I can't tell you how many people have offered me food, offered me hugs to see if I'm okay. Um, the thing that really blew me away today was this woman who I met, her name is Abrim Naim. She was on the phone on Friday to her 21-year-old son when he died. Her husband, you uh, have potentially seen the artwork that has been created by an Auckland artist to honour him because he was a hero. He helped people get out of Masjid al Noor, um, and he is being remembered and celebrated in his home country of Pakistan where he came from. He is being honoured, but it was my honour to sit down today with his wife. My husband, he was like a really nice man. Um, we got married in 1996 and um, like just after uh, nine months we had our first son and that was the like happiest time of our life. What do you think inspired him to uh, become a hero on, on Friday? I know that he was a very brave man, very helpful, very loving. So you, love can make you do that. What he did, he tried to save people's lives because he was loving. Can you tell us your favourite thing about your son? Right from the childhood, he was a very caring person. He was such an inspiration for our children. Mm. And we tell our children to be like Talha. My husband and son, they gave up their lives to save other people. And this is what Allah wants from us. It's a religion of peace and love. Apart from your faith, what keeps you strong at the moment? I think that's the only thing. That's the main thing.